Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More. We're back at the complex and we're gonna see inside this unit for the first time after the tenant has left. He rented a year ago. This is a tenant that was always late on rent, had so many excuses like a broken leg, um, among other ones. We'll see how it looks. And I'm not sure how amazing it's gonna look because he came in, dropped off keys, and said, if he gets any of his deposit back, here's where to send it. I uh, don't know how hopeful he is, so that's not a good sign. And I did see in the window a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it looked empty, but dirty, and he kept saying he was gonna come back and clean, and I guess we'll see if that happened or not. We have other issues going on here. House is doing fine, but that one will be moving out soon. The middle two are vacant, the end unit's moving out soon, and that one just caught, caught up on rent. They're way behind, I guess, a misunderstanding on our online portal, but at least that was good to see. So um, we'll see what this looks like inside. And like I said, it looked exactly like this when I looked through the window before, and he said he's going to come back and clean like two weeks ago. Looks like he chose not to do that. It's a little frustrating because you could have just turned in your keys and, you know, had us, you know, we could have gotten a head start on cleaning it if we would have known they're moved out already. But that's life. I know these are kind of weird units, but believe me, they look about a million times better than when I bought it. It was absolutely insane. There are seven units here and we spent probably 300,000 rehabbing it. It was just a crazy property. It's really not that dirty. I don't know if he ever used this property. <laughs> um, weird. It's always interesting opening the freezer. Hmm. I personally would probably take that tag off, but you know. And not bad. Like I said, it looks very, very sparsely used. Some sweet gorilla tape. So these are just one bedrooms. I think we had this rented for $9.50 a month. And yeah, I've said this before, we supposedly have a buyer maybe for this property. It's for sale for $1.15 million. I paid $550,000 for it. But um, I'll believe it when I see it if we get an offer. And they want it all vacant for their use. So it's not the worst thing in the world that so many units are vacant right now. It actually works out well if this offer comes through. But that's a big if. So yeah, not, not bad. He really didn't leave it in bad shape. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So that's good. It could have been way, way, way worse. Not sure how level that line is. It looks like it's about an inch lower on the right, but maybe that's an optical illusion. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll get that fixed up. So he'll probably get quite a bit of his deposit back. We'll just have to clean it up a little bit and go from there. So that's what this unit looks like. Uh, we'll have more updates on this. The unit down yonder has broken blinds and some signs it might not be nearly as nice and they're supposed to be out in a day or two so that'll be an interesting one of course we'll have a video showing what that one looks like and go from there and that's annoying i was just checking this lockbox, and the code was on what our laundry door code is they're not the same code we would never make them the same but that would tell me that someone who knows the laundry code was probably trying to get into this apartment and thought it might be the same code. And of course, we know whoever knows the codes probably lives here um, or knows someone who lives here. So that's a wee bit annoying. And I don't think, I guess we had all the keys in that one. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll check out the this laundry room facility now and see how it looks. Thing looks okay. I'm guessing there will be almost no money in here because there's almost no tenants left, but we'll find out.
Oh, that's actually more than I thought there would be. Not a ton, but I thought there'd be almost nothing. Oh yeah, there's a little bit in there. And this is the, the machines my kids own. So if, yeah, if we do sell this, I kind of need to figure out what to do with their investment, where to transfer it, how to figure all that out. Because I did buy the machines themselves and worked really hard to save money. And um, I'm probably not just going to take their money and leave them with nothing. I'll probably figure out something for them. So, all right, thanks for watching. Be back soon. We'll have lots of updates on this property, my other properties, businesses, the new ventures, all that coming up soon. And love to hear what you think as well.